Look at the moon. Isn't that beautiful? Come see the moon. Come see the look, moon. Look at the craters. Oh, it's gorgeous. As I always say, the exterior decorator does lovely work. What language do you know besides English? Beijing, the What are we looking at? Each other. <laughs> We're looking at the moon at high power. But when they see the moon, they are shocked. The public is so shocked when they see the mountains on the moon. One of the reasons we do this is so that can, people can see beyond their genetic programming. Your genetic program, you say, oh, these are clouds, oh, that's blue sky between the clouds, and these are trees, and these are plants, and these are flowers, and these are bees, and these are people, and these are dogs, and these are cats. All those things are covered by your genetic programming. But when you look through the telescope and see the mountains on the moon, damn it all, your gonads shut up. That he stands really right next to Newton in his role in creating a telescope that he says is used for the rest of us. John, it is such an honor to have you here each year at Skyrim. We started the whole uh, large telescope field for us amateurs. When I actually found my first deep sky object, I was hooked. I, I was never the same again. His design was a priceless gift. Uh, he could have patented that design and uh, made a lot of money, but he just gave that idea away. I thought I'd have to build an observatory. I thought I'd have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, he built, I saw him yesterday in the tent, he said he built a telescope for seven bucks. These high school girls came and looked at the full moon. And since the moon was full, I told them that when the moon is full, you don't see the mountains nicely, but you see the glass bead detail. I said one third of the surface on the moon, one third of the surface on the moon is, is glass. I said, it's all over blast, glass speed. And this girl says, how do you know that? I said, when the astronauts went there, they brought that stuff back. Someone went there. Someone they didn't went know that. there. She asked me twice. I'll tell you, this is absolutely mind-boggling up here. Gentlemen, I can well imagine that a foreign planet must be a weird thing to see. Okay, got a bad scoop. Uh, three minutes uh, going over the hill. Better on down. Okay, step six percent. Plenty fat. Contact. Stop. What you do see on the moon is when they scuff in the dirt, it just goes up and down. There is no dust cloud. The dust goes the same way the boulders go, over and down. <laughs> the dust goes the same way the boulders go, and you can't do that here. And when that machine is running, the stuff goes up from behind the wheel, up like this. Because there's no air to keep the dust up there. Boy, Houston, the beauty of this place is just absolutely incredible. What a ride, what a ride. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. Adam is talking to God just after God has made Eve. And Adam is kind of complaining to God, how come you made her so sweet and so attractive? And he, God said, so you'll like her. Well, how come you made her so stupid? So she'll like you. <laughs> I 
You look at all the religious people, it's about God made this world for our use. As I always say, the fish would have been boneless.